Thank you very much, Matthew. Yes, Curzon Ashton, one stop or county one. It's how we ended up <coughs> up here in Ashton, the final game before Christmas. Delighted to see but Stephen O'Halloran with me on the air. Uh, now, Stephen, just talk us through a tough one all draw. Yeah, um, well, I know we drew, but it feels more like a defeat. Uh, I thought we played some of our best stuff for the season in the first half. We had a lot of chances. Um, Daz, I was delighted with him for his, getting his goal. Uh, you can see in the first half of the potential that he has, so that's good going into the festive period and obviously going into the, the new year as well. But you know they didn't create much to the team. Um, Curzon, like they, they, they play some pretty football at times, but I think Ben had like only one save to make, so we were pretty solid. And then obviously the referee decided to give him a penalty. You mentioned Darren Stevenson there, and for the first half, to, to echo your saying, you know he's a fantastic player, really excited the fans when he got on the ball. How did the rest of the team support him now and G him on? Because you could see that they were all delighted for him when he when he got us off the mark. Yeah, it is that Daz has been like the stop start at the moment. He's you know, he's had a few little niggles, hasn't had a run in the team, so the gaffer's given him a couple of games now and you can see there he's a confidence player and his confidence was flowing today and you can see what a good player we do have when he's on on top form. So hopefully that will be we'll see more of Daz. We've come to the Christmas stage of the season. We are around the playoffs, if not quite in them. How did the squad feel about maybe chasing down those top seven spots come the end of the season from around the halfway stage now? At the moment, we're frustrated because we know our potential. We know how, how good we can play. It's just getting over the finish line at the moment. So, you know, we're working hard to try and put it forward. You know, we've had one defeat in 10, which is positive, but we need to start turning these draws into wins. And I you know. If we start doing that sooner rather than later, especially in the next coming coming games, uh, you'll see us start creeping up that, that table. And then you know there'll be teams around us that'll be starting to think, yeah, Stockport are getting a run together. They'll be they'll be getting worried about us in the playoffs as well. It's interesting to hear you say obviously the results are a little bit frustrating. We're trying to get there and it's, it's a little bit frustrating from time to time. However, whenever I've been around the players, be it train or after games, always seems a really happy mood around the camp. The players seem to be gelled really well and you can see them supporting one another out on the pitch today. It's a good spirit in the squad. Yeah, the gaffer said it a few times. You know, I think he's he's got a good bunch of players this year. I know that's a bit of a cliche, but you know, there's a lot, a lot of good footballers in this team, um, and we're starting to play a lot better as well. And hopefully, the fans can see that. Um, it's just you know, we had so many chances today. If we start converting and start helping Jason and, and Warby out a bit more with the goals, you know, you, you'll start to see a really, really good side. Do you think Matthew Warburton should he be fit for Boxing Day or, or New Year's Day? Do you think he comes straight back into the squad? We, we've looked good the last couple of games. Yeah, like Warby, he's obviously one of our top men at the moment. Him and Jason have, have formed a, a great partnership. You know, with two of them back in the in the squad, and obviously Darren's down to hit some top form. You know, there's going to be a lot of competition for the striking places coming coming into the festive period and obviously the new year. Um, obviously, we're trying to strengthen up. You know, throughout the squad, so we're trying to you know make ourselves as, as good as possible at the back. We're working hard at the back to try and justify um, you know a few mistakes in the past. But you know, we're all working hard together to try and push forward. Steve, it's the final game before Christmas. How are you? Uh, how are you celebrating the festive period? Um, I'm <laughs> I'm uh, going to my mates actually for for Christmas. I won't be getting back to Ireland, uh, but I, I'm used to it now. So I'll, I, like I said, we have uh, Christmas Christmas dinner. I'll uh, put my penny on and start making some potatoes. I think for everyone. Well, right, excellent. Listen, Stephen, thanks very much for today. All the very best on Christmas. And we'll see you on Boxing Day. Looking of forward course, to it. Of course, with the home title officer. Thank yeah. you very much. Looking forward to a win. So, Stephen O'Halloran, Merry Christmas to you. Uh,